The first split of this season's League Championship Series concluded last April, and just like any other split, the series was packed with surprises and upsets. Evil Geniuses went on to win the title in a miracle run from the lower bracket after they lost the first match against the first seed, Team Liquid. However, as entertaining and impressive as Evil Geniuses were in that tournament, what really had fans bamboozled was their poor performance Cloud9 gave during playoffs, even after finishing second in the group stage. Cloud9 had one of the best seasons throughout the spring split with their brand new top laner Summit carrying them to finish on in second seed in the group stage. The skilled Korean top laner even went on to win the MVP award for his performance throughout the series. However, the talented team had to say goodbye to the title in the worst possible way during the playoffs. Cloud9 finished their run with 150 collective deaths, marking a record for the most total team deaths of the postseasons thus far. Even though Cloud9 failed to be as dominant as they were in 2021, they still have another shot for a redemption this coming summer split starting on June 18th. They have done some pretty big changes to their roster once again, heading on to the second split of the season. Let us explore what these changes are and analyze how the new roster is going to affect their win condition. Cloud9 kicked off the 2022 season with a completely new roster. They brought in the former Live Sandbox top laner Summit, T1 Challengers AD Carry Berserker, and the Korean American support Winsome. Apart from that, the former top laner of the team Fudge was moved to the mid lane to replace Perks. It was basically a fresh roster. After their mixed performance in the first split, the managers have decided to change up the roster once again heading on to the second split. On May 2nd, 2022, Cloud9 officially announced that they have officially released the top laner Summit along with support players Winsome and Isles from their roster. The three players who recently joined the roster only played for a single split together. Releasing these three skilled players was a surprise to most as Summit was dominating the entire split in the top lane. The roster Cloud9 introduced for the spring split was considered an experiment by most fans and analysts, and even got its own name, Korea9. The experiment has come to an end, and Fudge will be returning to his original lane in the coming split. This might be the reason why Summit was released from the team. Apart from that, Cloud9 also surprised the fans with another big announcement, confirming all the rumors that were speculated around. On May 11th, 2022, Cloud9 officially announced the changes that they have made for the coming split via a Twitter video post. The video surprised the fans with the announcement of the veteran LCS player Nikolaj Jensen Jensen returning to the LCS. Jensen was not to be seen in the 2022 season after he left Team Liquid at the end of 2021. The veteran was left teamless a whole split while having a break from competitive play. The other surprise was the return of substitute AD carries Ven to the main roster. However, the surprise is that he will not be returning as the ADC for the team, but as a support instead. This announcement surprised not only the fans, but also the experts, as Sven has never played a role other than AD carry in his career before. So after all the surprise reappearances and role changes, the following is the complete Cloud9 LCS roster that will be competing in the second half of the season. We have Fudge in top lane, Jensen in mid lane, Blaver in jungle, Berserker in AD carry, and Sven in support. We also have Spenskeren as the substitute jungler. The star of the new C9 roster is Jensen, and he is undeniably one of the most experienced players in the international League of Legends esports scene. The veteran has never missed a world championship in his career, and he still has all the potential to carry Cloud9 to worlds once again. Fans will get to see him working his magic in the mid lane again, wearing a blue and white jersey after four years. The rest of the team also looks very solid, but no one really knows how Sven will do in his brand new support role. The former star AD Carry Sven is also one of the more experienced players in the league. He is well known for learning from his mistakes and coming back stronger. However, Sven did not get to compete in the starting split as Cloud9 faced import restrictions, making him take a break just like Jensen while still being signed to Cloud9. However, us fans are left with no choice but to wait and see for ourselves how this role swap is going to affect Sven's and the entire team's performance. Fudge returning to his previous lane is a safer change C9 has gone with because the Korean 9 experiment did not really work out with him in the mid lane. Fudge however has been really good in top lane as well where he is actually comfortable. On the other hand, Blabber has been dominating the last two years after his permanent promotion from Cloud9 Academy. The young jungler has won two MVP titles during his time on the Cloud9 main roster, the 2028 Spring MVP title, and the 2021 Spring MVP title as well. On paper, everything looks phenomenal here for Cloud9 heading on to the LCS Summer Split in June 18. We will have to wait to find out if all these changes will work out for C9 in their run for a spot at the 2022 World Championship. As always, hopefully this was insightful to you guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Stay fresh.